right, guys. Let's uh, let's work some back and arms. Let's let's do it, right? Here's a quick circuit that um, actually I think I'm gonna do about two to three circuits. We'll get you in. We'll get you a good quick 10 minute blast. Your arms will be exhausted. You can get on with your day, right? The only thing you need besides weights is preferably a minivan if you have it, okay? Um, if not, you can use a towel and you can still engage your back. All right, we're gonna start out with a beautiful warm up. I suggest this all the time. Every time you have a back and arms day, um, get these in. We're gonna hinge at our hips, drawing the tailbone back, nice and neutral. We're gonna lift up and my Tops of my dumbbells are gonna go to a Y. I'm gonna slow it down. Now I'm gonna flip my palms up and open to a T. Nice. I'm gonna draw my hands down, flip pinkies up to make an A. That's one set. Let's go. Y, T, flip back, A. Nice. Y, T, flip back, A. Do you see how you're creating all that heat in the center of the body to prepare yourself for potentially heavier work, right? Things that are gonna be harder. This is set five. We're gonna do five more. We're just working the range of motion, practicing that engagement. And exhale to breathe, nice. All right, I got two more sets. Ooh, are you guys already feeling it? One more. T and Beautiful, nice, stand on up. So I had two super light weights, threes, uh, fives would probably be challenging to me, but I could actually up my weight and make it harder to do that later. All right, uh, three moves. We're gonna get upright rows. We're gonna get lat pull downs. That's where the mini band comes in hand because you don't need a gym necessarily. The gym would be helpful, but whatever. And then hammer curls, straight up. All right, so grab your weights. Oh, I guess I'm going big time. 15s, <laughs> not that that's unheavy, but you know, sometimes you don't feel less strong. All right, roll the shoulders back. Uh, palms of the hands face the body and let's pull. 10, release. Nine, nice, tuck the hips under, engage. Five more, making that nice side V. Four, beautiful. Three, two, and one, awesome work. All right, let's put those weights down. All right, grab that minivan. I'm just gonna hook my thumbs into it and I'm gonna get 10 pull downs. Now, you can open your stance if that helps engage the core and keeping the spine stack. Let's go, 10 and push, nine, nice. Beautiful, five, push, four, come on. And one, nice work. All right, oh, I'm gonna use the tens. We got hammer curls, hammer curls. I don't want you to get stuck and it shouldn't be overly heavy. There again, feet can be uh, parallel to one another or open stance, give me 10, 10. Full extension at the bottom. That full extension where you actually squeeze the tricep. Nice. One, 10, beautiful. All right, right away, we are back to the top, okay? I don't wanna give us a huge amount of rest. We're not power lifting. Our body should be good. This actually helps increase that heart rate a little bit. Gets you to challenge yourself a little bit more. Let's go, 10. Down slow. Nice. Two more, are you feeling it? Cause I am, woo, nice. All right, mini band, let's pull it down. Opposite direction, using that back, pull it apart and down, let's go. 10, stretch that band. Yes. Nice work. You got it, two, one. All right, get those hammer curls in. You got this, come on. Curl and full extension. That full extension helps you curl from the very bottom. Giving you more work. <laughs> yes. Last 
next one. Boom. Nice. Nice work, you guys. All right. Oh, are we ready? One more time. One more time. I'm going to actually go back up. Need a little heavier. Come on. Think about what you can do. Last set. Let's go. Ten. Beautiful. Oh, five. Come on. Four. Three. You got this. Two. And boom. Nice. You guys, even if you had just a long resistance band, you could do the same movement with that resistance band. All right. Let's pull it apart. Ten. Yes, yeah, squeeze the back. Mind focus on those muscles. Five. Three. Two. And one. Awesome work. Oh, okay, let's get those last hammer curls. You've got this. Set that chest up. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Don't rest your elbows on your hips, ladies. Cheating for us. <laughs> Four, three, come on, two, and boom. Woo! Oh, nice. All right, you guys, we are gonna get just a little bit more. Okay, if you have some heavier weights, this is when you would grab, okay? If you have a resistance band, maybe a long one, like a long loop band, you can hook it in your feet and you can row it center. That works as well. All right, we're gonna take one weight. We're gonna get piston row. All right, so what that means, take a big guy, a big fella. I'm using a 30 as a reference. This will be hard for me. Um, I'm going to hinge at my hips. I'm gonna hold that weight down. Your hands are just stacked however you'd like to grip them. They're, they're in the center though. My kettlebell works awesome for this. My spine is neutral. I'm going to drag my elbows back to the corners behind me as I pull. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, come on. 6, 5, 4, yes, 3, 2, and 1. Now, the hardest part about that is no body movement. It's literally arms and then the back contracting. All right, go ahead. Grab a weight, medium possibly. We're gonna do plate curls. If you have a plate, grab a plate. Good for you. If you don't, just grab a weight. Put that weight center of the body. Curl, 10, all the way down, nine. Controlling the way the arms rotate. There is no rotation. You're isolating those bicep curls. Nice, this is like a great alternative to preacher curls. If you don't have those machines, let's go five. Four, come on, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, arms are starting to feel like jello, right? Yeah. Okay, the cool thing about these two moves, your primary muscle is gonna be the back pulling muscles, but your secondary muscle here are your biceps. So these piston pulls, they should be getting a little bit harder as the time goes on. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, you might even notice that the weight you have, if you thought it was heavy, it might not be that heavy because you are freaking strong, right? Especially when your body's centered like that. 10, come on, nine, eight, these get me. Seven, whew, six, come on, four, Three, two, and one. Nice, nice. Whoo! All right. <laughs> oh, are we ready? Last time, hinge, picking up that weight safely through an engaged core. Let's pull. Ten. Release. Nine. Dragging those elbows back to the corners. Nice. Let's go. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, curl that last time. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. You've got this. Five, 
four, uh, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay. Don't have a break. Shake that back if you need to. Now, I'm going to go right into supersetting these exact same muscles. We're gonna get reciprocating pulls right into reciprocating curls. Yes, you can rotate the arms. They don't feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get 20 of each, 10 per side. All right, here we go. Hinge and pull. One, one, two, two. Nice. Four, steady the body. Here's my eight, nine, 10, 10. Stand up. One, two, three, four. Nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two. I wish it was over, but it's not. Let's go. Ready, babe? And two. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Let's go. 10, nine, eight. Come on, the weights meet in the middle. Six, five. They're not swinging. Come on, steady body. Keep breathing. Two. All right, you guys, one more set. I know you can do it. This is why it's called super sets, because you have to dig super deep. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Last bit. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, Seven. You can do this. Six. Woo. Here we go. Four. Fight. Three. Two. And one each side. Guess what? Guess what? Back and arms. Bow. You're done. You're done, you guys. Nice work, Dan. Nice work at home, you guys. Save this. Do it anytime you want, you guys. Um, and track your weight, get better. Practice doing this once a week. Practice putting it in your rotation once a month. Track your progress. What weight can you use? You guys killed it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for working out with us. Bye guys.